Hello everyone and welcome to Tax Shorts. Today I'm joined by two of my lovely colleagues, Lydia Puadra, who leads our people, organization, and company secretarial business. Welcome, Lydia. And Michael Amponsa, who is part of our people, organization, and company secretarial team. Thank so you, you're both Arish. welcome to today's conversation. Thank you. Thank you. And today we'll be talking about data analytics. So Lydia, what are your thoughts about today's digital and data landscape? Um, let, let me start off by saying that um, data analytics actually involves um, the review of data sets um, and making um, um, trends and using that um, to draw conclusions um, about the information they contain. Actually, you know, you and I know that um, data has always been a very important component when it comes to decision making. Mm -hmm. What has really changed over the years? Um, is a large amount of data that has to be processed. Um, and also the advanced tools we have available to process this data, data to make sense and to help with decision making. Great, so data is essentially as valuable as gold. Exactly. All right, so Michael, since you work closely with um, data and in Lydia's team, can we talk about how we can apply data analytics into our personal lives and also professional lives? Okay, thank you. You know, as part of PwC's strategy to digitize the network, We've been upscaling our people in the use of softwares like Altrix and Power BI since 2020. So most of our colleagues have a fair idea of how to use these softwares in processing data. Now when it comes to using data in our personal lives, I will look at it as a start small. Mm -hmm. So as an individual, you can start with downloading or building an Excel template to track your budget and your spending habits. So you're able to identify where there are leakages. Mm -hmm. Now Lydia mentioned data is just reviewing information to make decisions. Now, if you track this on the personal level and you're able to establish or make decisions, it is easy to apply. You know, it doesn't have to be something big. So you start small and on a personal level, then you can move on from there. So, Michael, what are some of the tools that you use in the work that you do? Yeah, so in my work, I use a lot of data tools or data analytics. So most of it being the Alteric software, which I use in preparing and processing data, and the Power BI, which I use for visualization and data analysis as well. All right, yeah. great. Thanks. So, so Lydia, how would you say data analytics has helped your business? Um, Aisha, with data analytics, I have really seen a lot of improvement in my business. I've seen a lot of efficiencies. And for me, that is what I, I'm really out here for. Um, that with the business we do, we see efficiencies, and that really helps with the value we add to what we do. All right, great. So I think summarizing what both of you have said, data analytics is not a scary term. <laughs> it's a way to organize data identify trends, visualize the data, and make important decisions. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Definitely. All right, great. So thank you, Lydia and Michael. You've helped us debunk the myths and break down the walls around digital and data analytics. You've shown us another scary word, and that is really a way to gather information, identify trends, visualize data, and make decisions in both our personal and our business lives. Thank you so much for today's discussion. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Aisha Bedwe Ibe. I was joined by my colleagues Lydia Padra and Michael Amponsa, and we're discussing data analytics. I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next time on Tax Shots. Take care and God bless.